what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel we are here once again with some more viking second half of season six as dropped on amazon as an exclusive on amazon um so i will be watching on amazon okay second half 10 episodes they drop it all at once i thought it was going to be um episodic like every week but they decided to drop all 10 episodes um, I don't think anybody knew they were going to drop all 10 episodes. I think it was a surprise for everybody. Um, but it's the best way to go at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like to stretch this out for, you know what I'm saying, for another 10 weeks would have been, I wouldn't have liked that. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it all goes into, it. this is the final, final, final you know what I'm saying, of the entire show, and of course, season 6 wasn't necessarily doing well from the get-go, so I can understand why they decided to do this instead of doing it for 10 weeks, because, you know, pandemic is a good end-of-the-year present for everybody, because everybody's been waiting for Vikings to come back, you know, and I think this is, was the best way for them to do it, um, so let's talk about what's been going on if i can remember everything um bjorn was severely hurt at the end of episode 10 um not sure if he's dead they probably think he is dead um at least probably ivar and oleg probably think he's dead i don't know um you know harold did end up helping um during that fight so I mean, it's just so much that is going on. Hopefully, they kind of wrap up certain things, certain storylines. We have the storyline that is going on over it. Them going to, what, the Golden Land or whatever they're talking about over there with, with Uba and uh, Torvian and, and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Shetu, Shetu. I think that's his name still no word on floki so i don't know what's going to happen but we'll see what happened anyways no further ado let's go watch the episode and i will see you guys for the review all right so that was Season 6, Episode 11 of Vikings. So, we have laid Bjorn to rest. I don't know what to think um, when it comes on to the situation with Bjorn. I don't know why they decided to kill him off first episode back. That's if he is dead. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was just so... Um in my opinion and this is just my opinion okay this is not to say that you know the show is doing anything wrong or anything this is just my opinion i think it was very underwhelming um if this is actually bjorn's death it was very underwhelming and it in my opinion they should have done this probably like three or four episodes in they shouldn't have done this the episode back it just seems like we're not it didn't feel like we were honoring bjorn i don't know maybe it's just because it's the first episode back why it just feels like the impact of it is just not that great you get what i'm saying it's a character we've known since he was a kid you know what i'm saying like back in season one now he's dying in the final season of vikings which is fine you can kill a character in the final season of a show there's nothing wrong with that it's just how it is done and the timing of it it just didn't sit right with me you know what i'm saying i expected also i i was also expecting bjorn would be one of those the only son to survive the entire thing but that's not how it goes not that i'm mad about it it's just my expectations being shattered it's not that big a deal but um, them killing King Olaf, I like, I think in my opinion, that was a way better death, because it, 
not necessarily that it meant more, but it was done better. Because we know who King Olaf is. You get what I'm saying? And he went out like a gangster. Now, don't get me wrong. They 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 tried to do it very well for Bjorn as well. They tried to do, I can see them, you know, him making the last battle cry on the battlefield to gather everybody answering the call of them coming to help you know was brilliantly done they did a very good job of that but where i have a problem with it just did not have the impact that a ragnar's death had or a um lagatha's death had you know what i'm saying like and I'm not saying I should be weeping for B Bjorn like how I was, you know, how I teared up for Ragnar and Lagatha. I'm not saying that. That's not where I'm coming from. I just felt like, and I, I really do think it's because it's the first episode back. You get what I'm trying to say? Like the impact is just not going to be there because we haven't watched the show in so damn long. Like when did, I mean, I think the first half of the season um because i watched it late because i didn't watch it when it was going on so i even watched it late it's six months since i've seen the show but i think the first half of the season um ended like back in like i think it was like early earlier this year if i'm not mistaken so it's been a long time for other people longer time for other people that was watching the show you know so to me, I'm saying you should have let the audience come back a little bit, get comfortable a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just didn't impact me as much as I expected Bjorn's death, if it was going to happen, to be. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just didn't have that impact for me. Maybe, it, I'm pretty sure that there are people that are reacting that you've seen probably their reaction you know what i'm saying and you know they were probably crying because of this you know they were playing the same music they played for lagatha you know what i'm saying um and i i, I felt the you know i felt it in the moment but there's just this inkling that just for me it just you know what i'm saying like it, it a little bit of stuff that was there that i it, I, I was in disbelief that they did this first episode back <laughs> you get what i'm trying to say so it, it, it was just kind of underwhelming for me you know um so but 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 as i said it was it was a good episode um as i said i do not know where that storyline is going with uber I, I i have no clue you know what i'm saying and i love uber as a character but this golden land stuff like i i i'm lost <laughs> on this storyline like are we trying to find out what really happened to floki or are we just pussyfooting around until we find out what what's going up what what type of person chetel is so we could kill him like what what is the situation here so you know i've always talked about that storyline and talk about how kind of unnecessary it, it all was ever since Floki decided to take those people from Kattegat and and leave like I was like why is this happening why is it there but hopefully there's a payoff before the end before I watch the final episode or during the final episode I just need some closure for that storyline and I'll be fine right so we have all these people fighting um, but for some reason, King Harold escaped. And now he's in the wind. He didn't show up at the, that battle at the end. He didn't show up. So, you know, of course, we always going to have Ivar talking to the, the, the little prince, you know, trying to tell him that, you know, we're going we gonna to join up with, with Deer. I think that's his name. Um, and try to overthrow overthrow king king um oleg right oleg right so um as i said man olaf went out like a real g i respect it you know what i'm saying um 
but it was a little confusing the stuff that he was saying because i'm like this man is a die hard viking you know what i'm saying like believing in the gods and all of this other stuff he was die hard but he was literally quoting scripture <laughs> you know what i'm saying like this is something that you hear like um christians who are dying will say he's beside me saying these things like jesus you can't see him but you are hearing him speaking into you and saying that i'm with you always you get what i'm saying um so that's something that's very christian like and i think that's what's really that really messed with oleg's head a bit you know what i'm saying i think it really messed with him and then we have um ube saying that you know the our father is the same as you know jehovah that's basically what he said he said that you know the, he, he said that you know the our father that i serve and the, the the god that you serve which is jehovah is one and the same so these little ideals that are kind of creeping into the series is kind of weird to me <laughs> sometimes you know what i'm saying but i'm hope i'm hoping that there's some dialogue or something that explains why this sudden interest in um, not necessarily sudden but this pushing straightforward these these two religions not necessarily against each other but kind of bringing them together in a certain sense so um i definitely hope that they expound on that a little bit more before the end of the series to kind of help us to understand what they're trying to accomplish with mentioning stuff like that and why you let olaf said the things he said before he was lit on fire you know what i'm saying like it was kind of weird but i like how he didn't scream or anything so they didn't get no satisfaction out of watching him being burned alive none you know what i'm saying that's why he walked away mad because it's like damn i did all this and got no satisfaction man <laughs> but any case guys um as i said first episode down we got nine more to go um so i'm gonna be watching you're just gonna see one episode when they drop is when they drop i ha it's not on the schedule so whenever vikings drop it's just when it drops i'm just reacting i'm gonna try to get these 10 episodes done as quick as possible it might go into next week but we'll see how things go but in any case guys thank you so much for tuning in as always welcome back to my vikings reaction watchers appreciate y'all hopefully y'all hit that like button leave a comment in the comment section and i will catch you guys later as always